Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if your name is Young Miami, I guess you gave all the blogs the answer on whether you and Diddy Bop and Shorty Wap are still together. Y'all, Young Miami has cut Diddy out her reality show. I guess she did not take too kindly to Gina Hun being all over the timeline and Diddy following her back. Let me say that. We're going to have to talk about that because Diddy played that all wrong. How do you go from having someone that was going to maybe stick by your side? We actually don't know what the case may be, but Diddy's people, when all that mess happened, was like, yo, it's over. What are we going to do? Blah, 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 blah. And they were like, get rid of young Miami. She's not the right look. The only problem is, Diddy thought there was only going to be one accusation from Cassie. It was going to put the kibosh. Then he got hit with 60, 11 million lawsuits. And that's when he was like, wait, one, even for all these lawsuits, there's no way I'm coming back from all these lawsuits within a six to 12 month period. Second of all, all my income streams are either being sued or they're drying up. Third of all, Diddy ain't have a hit album, a hit show, a hit anything. Carisha, please. The roulette game, the pajamas, Revolt TV. She literally is his cash cow. Now, I have always maintained this, right? So the nerve that when he went through all that, he was just like, oh, my God, maybe I should move on to someone new. Well, baby, Shorty Wop said after Diddy's reality show got canceled and Young Miami's is set to air and... They're saying it's going to be a hit. They're saying Miami, Santana, that whole crew, it's going to be a hit. Young Miami is literally set to catapult herself. At the end of the day, Diddy might have been financing her lifestyle to a certain point. It looks like Young Miami has officially figured out a way to finance her own lifestyle. And on top of that, the arrogance of being with a man. That when you're being sued by everybody and anyone will be embarrassed to stand by your side. Honestly, I'm not saying Young Miami experienced the Cassie treatment. Cassie did say it took about two years for, um, well, I'll just say it, for the BS to start. Young Miami was coming up on that two-year anniversary. Maybe he like, you know, wines and dines you. And then after two years, he's like, what the fuck bigger now, Paul Sean, right? Or maybe he spent two years being like, mm, your skin looks so good with the white fingernail polish. Anyway, right? Um, you know, I'm not saying that young Miami actually was the person that, hold on, I got to see a set. I'm literally out of water. Anyway, <laughs> y'all just saw some real life. I literally was shocked that someone that would have to pay a woman at this point to stand next to them because everybody be looking at the woman like she's Bobo the crown. You decide to do a power move. You decide to mess with her mind. You start decide to bring in your bottom B Gina Hun and start following her again. Then Gina's posting up on Instagram. Feels good to be back in all white lace and probably got white fingernails on. Yo, I know young Miami sat there and said, yeah, no, no, this too much. Mm -mm. I know she sat there and said, uh-uh. Y'all, let's get into this, okay? Um, the Jasmine brand. It's exclusive reporting that the music mogul, <laughs> Diddy, is he still a mogul? I don't know. He's gotten so many... Well, allegedly not appear in his Shorty Wops reality show. Ahead of the 2023 VMA Awards, Young Miami, whose real name is Carisha Brown Lee, shared, uh, shared to Instagram. Hold on real quick. All right, I'm back. So anyway, she shared to Instagram. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh, wait. Shared that a reality project about her life was in the works. Now, she did break that with the Jasmine brand. So because she broke this with the Jasmine brand and other stuff exclusively, it makes me think whenever any news about Karicha comes out from the Jasmine brand, it's most likely reliable. Anyway, right? While chatting with an interview on the red carpet, she revealed, I got a reality show coming out. The City Girls are dropping an album. My cap, my podcast, just everything. 
I know that's right. That's another thing I wanted to talk about. Remember how Carisha and them were like, oh, the city girls are retiring and all this other stuff right before this stuff came out. You know what they say? Rejection is protection. Because at the end of the day, I did think that Diddy was going out of his way to break up the city girls. And he was using Young Miami for clout. I'm black, glad they are back in the studio. You know? Anyway, they said at the time, it wasn't clear which network secured the rights to the behind the scenes of Young Miami's life. However, last month, the Jasmine brand exclusively broke the news that the act up rapper linked a deal with B uh, inked a deal with BET for the series. Since announcing her upcoming show, many have asked. I wasn't many wondered if Diddy would make an appearance on the program. As you may already know, Miami and Diddy who, wait, Miami's 29 and Diddy's 54? He's literally old enough to be her father. Have been involved in an on-again, off-again situationship for a while now. Unfortunately, <sighs> this is Shane. Who wrote this? They said, unfortunately, for fans hoping to learn more about their interactions on Miami's series, Diddy was allegedly pulled from the project. According to sources, Miami has to film new content to replace the footage from the several episodes Diddy initially was in before his legal trials was started to blow. As previously reported in November 2023, Diddy quickly settled a lawsuit with Cassie. Ah, da, 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 blah, blah. Okay, y'all, listen. First of all, Young Miami is not lucky this happened because the fact that, but just hear me out on this because this needs to be said. Did literally is a virus that infects people. The fact that yes, Diddy was paying Miami like an allowance. Some people said it was 200,000 a month. Diddy's a billionaire. used to be a billionaire. I don't see why that wouldn't be true. However, let's be real. Whatever money Diddy was paying her on the front end, he was getting back in ad dollars. Think about him in Miami gallivanting with Casamigos or De Leon, whatever his stuff is, right? She was promoting his liquor, that Carisha Please pajamas he had his money in, the Carisha Roulette game, yes, the Revolt TV, he literally had a 360 deal on her as his girlfriend. So, yes, she was getting an allowance. Yes, she was slipped down. But Carisha was not only keeping Diddy relevant, but she was the biggest thing for all his liquors, all his ads, all everything. Diddy needed Carisha more than she needed him. But that's just my opinion. The fact that this is her reality show, and he's all up in the mix. Diddy could not have gotten greenlit for reality show without someone else. Diddy's kids, family reality show. Diddy and Carisha, we're there literally going to see what Carisha is up to. The city girls, nobody gives a D, nobody gave a D what Diddy was up to. Diddy is old enough to be somebody's father. And again, I'm not being ages. I'm just saying that for the generation that Diddy is trying to like be in on, People Carisha's age and younger. And nobody think about Bad Boy and their reunion tour. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, you know what? At the end of the day, it's not surprising Diddy got caught. But the fact that Carisha basically said, baby, we retaping these episodes, that lets you know that the network just couldn't cut him out. That he was so heavily involved in it that now it needs to be retaped. But you know what? Rejection is protection. Now, here's the gag, Right. Diddy use everything and everybody for a come up. He used how many deaths? Kim's, Biggie's, all this stuff to promote himself. So here's the gag. Here's the real gag. If Carisha wants to ensure that that reality TV show is a smash hit and that we're watching every single week, I mean, I'll be watching regardless. You know what she needs to do? Yeah, come here close. Yeah, come closer. Carisha needs to talk about her time with Diddy and baby, she needs to put 20 on 10. And even if she wasn't, if she has episodes about how she felt, what it was like, if she starts opening up and be like, well, actually, baby, that hit show is going to be a smash and every blog and everything is going to be talking about it. What y'all think? I think Carisha should go for it. I think she don't owe Diddy 
no loyalty. And I can't wait to see that reality TV show. And if BET was smart, they would get the filming right now and talk about the aftermath and catch all that mess. That's right, Carissa. You better kick that city girl mess into high gear. But anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.